are not air suspension products. Jaguar installation. Removal. Step 1. Releasing tie rod tension. To release the rear axle and tie rod tension, put the car into accessory and the transmission to neutral. This will set the rear axle, releasing the tension. The car may make a sound as the tension is released. This is normal. Removal. Step 2. Disconnecting the battery. To avoid the possibility of short circuits while working with electric components, consult your owner's manual on how to disconnect your battery. Always wear safety glasses when doing automotive maintenance. Removal. Step 3. Locate and disconnect the compressor relay. Pull the cord to release the seat back while rotating the top of the seat forward. Pull the insulation forward on the passenger side of the vehicle to access the computer. Unplug all the connections from the computer, tie off the wires, and tuck away. Removal. Step 4. Wheel Removal. Start by removing the wheel's lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, carefully take off the wheel. Removal. Step 5. Removing the trunk side panel. Open the trunk to expose the side panel. To remove the side panel, first attach the plastic plug clip located toward the front of the trunk. Next, reach behind the panel towards the back of the trunk and disengage the clip hidden below the panel. The top of the panel is below the trunk seal. Now, start working the top of the panel free. It may be helpful to lift the floorboard. When the top and bottom of the panel are free, pull it straight out of the trunk to completely remove it from the car. Removal. Step 6. Disassembling upper shock. With the side panel removed, the four shock mounting studs and air lines will be exposed. Start by disconnecting the electrical connection to the shock, then proceed to loosen the air line. Air will escape from the air line as it releases from the shock. Remove the four bolts from the shock's mounting studs. If wiring restricts access to the bolts, Lift up the wire panel and finish loosening them by hand. Removal. Step 7. Detach stabilizer arm. Remove the bolt attaching the stabilizer arm to the hub assembly. This will give the appropriate clearance to remove the shock once it is free. Removal. Step 8. Detach shock from lower control arm. With the appropriate tool, start to loosen the lower control arm bolt. Once the bolt is loose, finish removing it by hand while holding on to the shock. The shock will want to fall because the top mounting studs have been removed. Removal. Step 9. Removing the old shock. Once the shock is free, start to work the shock down. Once past the e-brake cable, the shock will easily come out. Install. Step 1. Preparing the r not shock for installation. Before installing the shock, be sure to remove the four top stud bolts. Install. Step 2. Positioning the shock for mounting. Start by inserting the shock through the bottom of the wheel well, up and past the e-brake cable. Roughly line up the bolt hole of the lower control to the eye on the bottom of the shock. This position will allow the top mounting studs to slide into place. Install. Step 3. Insert the lower control arm bolt. 
pulled down on the hub assembly to line up the lower bolt hole with the lower control arm mount. With continued pressure applied to the hub assembly, insert the bolt and hand tighten. With the appropriate tools, tighten the lower control arm bolt until it is snug. Install. Step 4. Reconnect the stabilizer arm. Line the stabilizer arm back up to the mount on the rear of the hub assembly. Insert the bolt up through the bottom of the stabilizer arm mount and hand tighten the nut. With the appropriate tools, tighten the nut until it is snug. Install. Step 5. Reassembling the upper shock mount. From the trunk of the car, locate the upper mount studs. Start by hand tightening the mounting bolts. With the appropriate tools, finish tightening all of the bolts. Removal. Step 1. Wheel removal. Start by removing the wheel's lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, carefully take off the wheel. Removal. Step 2. Disassembling connection to sway bar end link. Start by removing the sway bar end link. Press down on the sway bar end link and push the bolt through. Removal. Step 3. Disassembling connection to upper A-arm. With the proper tools, loosen the top bolt that attaches the upper A-arm to the hub assembly. As the bolt is loosened, the upper A-arm will start to come free. Continue loosening the bolt until it can be finished by hand and stop. Pull down on the upper A-arm to allow room to finish loosening the bolt by hand. While loosening the bolt, hold the upper A-arm in place to avoid it falling forward and causing injury. Carefully lower the hub assembly forward to expose the lower control arm bolt. Removal. Step 4. Disassembling upper shock. Start by disconnecting the electrical connection to the shock. Then proceed to loosen the airline. Air will escape from the airline as it releases from the shock. Remove the four bolts from the shock's mounting studs. Removal. Step 5. Removing the lower control arm bolt. Begin to loosen the lower control arm bolt. It may be necessary to push the whole hub assembly towards the front of the car. Press up on the shock and remove the lower shock bolt. Lower the shock to rest on the control arm. Removal. Step 6. Removing the old shock. Pull down on the hub assembly and use the sway bar end link to hold it open. This provides enough room to remove the shock from the wheel well. Grasping the bottom of the shock, first push up and then pull it back over the control arm. Once the shock is free from the top mount, angle the lower part of the shock down while being careful to avoid the brake line. Continue to lower the shock down until it can be pulled forward out of the wheel well. Install. Step 1. Preparing the r not shock for installation. Before installing the shock, be sure to remove the four top stud bolts. Install. Step 2. Positioning the shock for mounting. Face the top of the shock out and away from the car. Slide the bottom of the shock into the wheel well in between the lower control arm and brake line. Lift to align the top four studs with their position in the top mount. Finish off the positioning by pulling down on the hub assembly while lifting the shock up and over to rest on the control arm. Install. Step 3. Mounting the lower control arm bolt. While pushing up on the shock, Align the lower control arm with the shock mount and slide the bolt through. 
With the bolt now through the control arm, hand tighten it enough to hold the shock in place. The hub assembly will now hang in place, ready to be attached to the upper A-arm. Install. Step 4. Attaching the upper A-arm to the upper A-arm ball joint. Push the hub assembly up to align with the upper A-arm ball joint. It may be necessary to pull down on the upper A-arm to line it up with the hub assembly mount. Once in place, hand tighten the upper A-arm bolt so that it is loosely threaded. A couple of threads are all that is needed to temporarily hold things in place. Install. Step 5. Lining up and connecting the sway bar end link. Push down on the sway bar end link to line it back up. When the sway bar end link is lined up to the mount, slide the bolt through from the back. This will hold it in place. Start to tighten the bolt until it is snug. Install. Step 6. Tightening remaining hardware. The final step to the lower installation is to tighten the remaining hardware. Tighten the upper A-arm bolt until it is snug. Finish tightening the lower shock bolt that was left hand tightened from step 4. This should be snug when complete. Install. Step 7. Reassembling upper shock. Replace the four bolts connecting the top of the shock to the shock mount. Install Step 8. Reconnecting the battery. To avoid the possibility of short circuits while working with electric components, consult your owner's manual on how to reconnect your battery. Install. Step 9. Replace paneling. Start by inserting the panel straight back into the trunk. Work in the bottom of the panel first. Once the bottom of the panel is in, work the top of the panel in place under the trunk seal. When the panel is in position, reattach the appropriate clips. Installation completed. Congratulations. Lower the car to test drive and check the installation.